He is the original Fijian hit maker. In Itauke music history, there is only one composer who is referred to as the man who writes the hits. Ilyas Mbaravilala might no longer be a household name, but he has achieved what many artists can only dream of with over 300 hit songs under his name. This week, in our very first episode of Discovering Fiji, an original mini documentary series by the Fiji Times, we bring you the story of Master Iliasa Mbaravilala. I'm uh, Elias Ambaravilala from Nangalotu Yahweh in Kandabu. Pasu in Lebuka, Uma Lebuka, Ovalo. There I was brought up in Lebuka. Everybody knew that I'm, I was from Lebuka. Till now. I started working in Lebuka. Teaching in Lebuka, into school in Lebuka. Everything was done in Lebuka. From Lebuka, from Ratu Seru Memorial School in Tokyo, I started work primary. Then I went to Nesino Teachers College, 1977, for the Spime course, which I attended for one year. And then I was transferred to Lebuka Public School. I was a teacher for 10 years. From there, I was posted again to St. James School as a teacher. St. James Anglican School in Lubuka. Stayed there for 10 years before I was transferred to Lotoka Teachers College for another 10 years before I retired. I retired. I bought a house in Matambua, Lotoka, and I'm still staying there now. While age has caught up with Master Mbaravilala, his love for penning songs has remained strong. The veteran songwriter revealed to our team that he has penned over 20 new songs just over the last year or so. Even now, I've written again almost 20 songs, new songs, from early last year to this year. And I'm just waiting for any good artist to come around and I'll give these songs to them. And, uh, well, I enjoyed singing. I enjoyed writing songs. Even now, I'm turning 77. Just yesterday, I wrote another two songs, a new one. So altogether, there are about close to over 300 songs now. So I'm just waiting for any singers who might be listening to this video. They'd like to have some songs from me. You can come to Natambua and I'll give you the songs. All in my file here. Everything is in, is in line with me. So you can call me and uh, come and learn the songs that I teach you. Go enjoy it. Go and enjoy the songs and make use of it. In 2017, Master Mbaravilala was awarded the Order of Fiji where government acknowledged his community work, concerts he had organized over the years to raise funds for churches and communities across the country. We did so many fundraising for churches, schools, and other good organizations in Fiji. We give our time, our life, our service to, the, to those people. We never charge any money. They just paid for our fare. And all the money they collect, they use them for their needs. They pay for a fare to go and perform and they come back and uh, we enjoy it. Every bit of it. So I thank the Lord for giving me this uh, composition thing. As a composer in Fiji, I Really enjoyed it every day. 
Now at the tail end of his illustrious songwriting career, Master Maravilala has fond memories of his tours from back in the days. Well, I think the best memories of my composing was, uh, you know, touring Fiji, all of Fiji, including Rambi, Taveoni, Rotuma, and the Pacific. We went to Solomon Island, we went to Vanuatu, we went to Tonga, and we went to Samoa. Samoa, the Samoa Rugby Union invited us to Samoa. And I will be singing a song about the trip today. You have to listen to the trip to Samoa. It was sung by Charlie Mario. And he came to me and he asked me for some songs, so I gave those songs to him. And this was going in the radio every day, our trip to Samoa. It's one of our favorite. We sang with the Five Stars, a very popular band in Samoa, at the Tusitala Hotel. There we met the, again from Levuka, Lions Club of Levuka. They went for their meeting in Samoa. We enjoyed, we enjoyed our stay at the Tusitala Hotel, very well-known hotel. And we played with the Five Stars band from Samoa. Master Maravilala has written many hit songs. One that has stood the test of time was his song Isambau Langamai, sang by then 14 year old Langani Rambuka Wanga. <laughs> I heard Langan in the radio, so I heard that he was calling in Cubius. So I wrote to him to thank him for singing my song so nicely. I told him, you're going to sing like it, you will become a very popular artist for me. And he sent my that letter to his father. His father then called me to the Wuka Public. He said, if you want to teach Langan, you can teach him now. We are giving him to you. So I went to Cubius. I walked from Natomi Jetty to Kivuas about 8 kilometers just to go and look for this boy. Walk. 8 kilometers. And it was, it was a good walk. Sun was shining bright. We were carrying our guitars, ukulele, and a bag. And we walked from Kivuas, from Natomi Jetty to Kivuas. <coughs> it was when Langan was given the first song, Isambo Langamai, and the Emma Ndaku near the cow song about Kivyas. Those were the two songs that I taught Langani the first night we met in Queen Victoria School. Humbled by the longevity of his songs, Master Maravilala is thankful that his songs composed in the 80s is still enjoyed today. I always thank the Lord for his blessings on me, giving me that opportunity to Composed song. It was very popular in Fiji and abroad. 